Is Last Down Earth Survival a pay to win game? The team over at Kefe have done an amazing job in pioneering the field of mobile survival games to the point that there are now more copycat versions of Last Down Earth than Flappy Bird. But Last Down Earth is not without its own controversy, with a large percentage of the players calling the game pay to win due to the in game purchases. Loot boxes are part of what make Last Down Earth Survival a controversial game for many players. Whilst yes, you can complete everything without spending a penny, it is dramatically faster to purchase the in-game packs to boost your progress. Today we're looking at what you can get from some of the more popular packs, as well as opening up 100 packs and seeing how many rare, very rare and extremely rare items we get. So without further ado, let's start. To stop this video from being over an hour long, I'm going to only look at the Silence Pack. The Silence Pack can give you a full set of tactical armour, a machete, a katana, and then, as rare and very rare, a Glock, M16, and AK-47. This pack costs 89 pence per pack, approximately $1 so per pack, so for your $1 you can potentially spend it and get one single tactical hat. However, those that invest more will of course get more. When you will need to buy six packs to be guaranteed to get every common item in the pack, costing $5. So for $5 you are purchasing the aforementioned tactical set, alternatively the resources required to make these items will take, depending on RNG, approximately 1 hour and 20 minutes to gather. In the background you can see me opening £64 worth of silence packs. From these we will get 16 of each item, allowing me to clear out Bunker Alpha 8 times without farming for a single item, apart from healing items. Now, as for the rare and very rare items, from opening these packs we have received 15 Glocks, 1 M16 and 2 AK-47s. The Glocks alone are enough to kill 60 frenzied giants. Now, looking through the total cost here of £64, we are netting a total of 16 tactical sets, 15 Glocks, 1 M16 and 2 AK-47s. The average wage in the UK is £8.50 per hour, so in order to buy these packs you would theoretically need to work for 7.5 hours. As opposed to grinding in the game without buying anything, it would take dramatically longer than that to gather and refine all of these resources. However, I still do not believe that this makes Last Day on Earth a pay to win game, as everything you can purchase will only affect the single player aspect of the game. The moment we begin being able to purchase weapons and gear beyond the wall in Sector 7, I'll be the first in line to change my tune, however hopefully that day will never come. Thank you for watching everybody, I will see you next time. Goodbye.